This is the video review for Transformers Generations Thunderwing. This is a pretty nice figure. I like the jet, the jet mode. It's very sleek and... I don't know. It, it has a charm to it. It's very kind of plain and bland. With It has a lot of molded detail on it, but doesn't do much to bring it out. So it comes across as sort of bland, but it's solid and it's it's pretty big. However, what I don't like about it are these missiles here, which um, take away all, I guess you could say, thinness to his already kind of short wings and kind of uh, crowded wings because, as you can see, his arms are just hanging there like on Classic's Jetfire. So, I typically don't use his missiles. In fact, I've lost them several times because I just don't care about them. So in this jet mode, he has landing gear, but it's pretty worthless. You pull it out of his shins here, here, and the nose. And while it will roll, not very well no matter what surface you're on. And it doesn't make him stay any higher or more level than without the landing gear. So there's really no point to it. Except for kind of one thing. And it ties into another gimmick this guy has. So I'm going to... Yeah, these... If you saw how that was already folded down a little bit. Those, because they hinge out forward. Whenever you try and roll it forward, we'll just push them down. And that sucks. So, what I'm talking about here is... Well, this guy's a pretender. Or based off of a pretender. So he has sort of an organic vibe to him. That's why the detailing here is supposed to be like a uh, reptile's uh, scales is what it's supposed to look like. So this guy has a drone and it's actually quite a nice drone. It uh, has a little cockpit in there and wings and it's it, it works really well. Unfortunately it doesn't transform like it's not a a headmaster or anything like that, but it does work well. But now if you look here, the landing gear makes it look like this is a jaw. So, num, num, num. And I think that's why they put the effort into landing gear, so they get this thing looking like a jaw. Like they knew they were going to put landing gear on it, but it didn't quite pan out. But they saw this and liked it, so they left it in. That's, that's kind of the impression I get that. This is the whole reason why the landing gear has any effort put into it, even though it still sucks, is for this mouth. So, this just clips right back in, and there you go. Now, transform this thing is very, very simple. I mean, you can see where everything is. So, to start off, flatten the tail, fold out the wings, Pop this up, pop this down, fold this under, and fold this over. Then from this side, fold the hands forward, and get them out of the way. Push his chest forward, rotate his legs down, and then push it all down together, open his feet. And then fold this down. And there you have Thunderwing in robot mode. A very simple, but fairly effective transformation. It's fun to do, and there's enough that it doesn't get boring. And yes, I've done quite a bit to modify this figure. For example, I cut off the shoulder lasers here so that he can actually use his arm articulation because before he had um, lasers that stuck up here that would just bump into here and then he couldn't move his arms anymore forward and it sucked it sucked really bad and then also you will notice there's a little black thing in here you can see it better like that that's something i glued on as an attempt to try and get this uh, chest piece 
to clip over this to make it a bit more solid so that when you lift the legs it doesn't um, move the uh, chest piece. Now the real solution, the real trick to getting that to work is you might notice a little bit of roughness there. There are some bumps on the very top parts of his thighs that really bump into this and force it up but if you get rid of those you don't have that problem and aside from just tightening the this uh, chest piece anyway the hinge so that it doesn't move very much that's the solution to that problem if you're having it so the other problem with this figure is that if you look right in there it looks like he's sort of missing part of his thumb and you can see a stress mark his thumbs break off very easily. Now it doesn't, it doesn't uh, stop him from being able to hold anything. He can still hold his guns, and truly any other uh, five millimeter or whatever size handles these are. I think they're five millimeters. He can hold any peg of standard size very well, even with the thumbs broken. So it's not that big of a deal. And in fact, you probably wouldn't even know this, except I have not yet taken a blade to the um, stressed plastic and cut it away so you still see that little white bit as though the hands were taken off of a sprue so out of the box this guy has some problems but if you spend some time modifying him he's a lot better than you might think so as far as articulation he has ball jointed um shoulders so they're forward back about that far and out he has a mid bicep swivel and a 90 degree elbow and his wrist turn 360. His head also turns but it's on a weird cut so he ends up sort of angling his head when he turns it to the side. His legs go forward, back, out, they rotate above the knee and he has about 90 degrees in the knee. And you have this is a, on a ball joint, forward and back, and a little bit side to side, and these can collapse in and out. So he is very stable. He's actually one of the more stable figures I've seen in a long time. Well, of course he makes a liar out of me, but part of that's just a towel, and the surface I'm on isn't exactly even, but he balances very nicely despite having the wings and the nose on the back. So overall, he is a very nice figure, but I wouldn't recommend him unless you're willing to do a little bit of modification because he does have some fairly obnoxious problems stock. With that being said, I do like this guy a lot and since I am willing to modify him, I bought a second one of these guys for posterity so that once the joints on this guy turn to sludge and it's not really feasible to use super glue to tighten them very much anymore, I will have a second. I'm not saying that his joints are, that he has bad plastic, because I play with this guy quite a bit and his joints are still tight, so... I recommend getting him if you're willing to modify him. He doesn't have any plastic issues, just some design issues born from a desire... Well, crap, but he has some design issues born from a desire to make him more screen accurate. Thanks for watching, and I gotta go get that.